I do believe you guys have seen the video where I use this metal press button. You can see it's a metal press button they use in making a ready made outfit. You can use it for shirt or trouser. And this is where I show you guys the sample of what they majorly use it for and how it's definitely function. If you haven't seen this video, a link will be in the description below where I caught and saw this particular joggers. But in, th in this video, I want to go up close and show you guys how to actually fix this press button step by step so here we're going to have four pieces of this ring you can see we have the clip itself this is the clip that i'm holding and this very first one right here is the clip hole so when you press them together they are going to simply clip together so each of this one actually have their order to the fabric the particular thing that is going to hold them to the fabric so this black which is the front panel which is the front facing itself you can see this one is the one that will be the outer layer this black one you can see right here is the one that will be the outer layer so this black one actually we are going to fix it with this with the clip hole this is the clip hole the very the first one is the clip hole you can see this one is going to be fixed with the outer layer the black ring you can see that so we're going to put this one aside right here you see so this one is for an is for a particular set of dice and this second one right here is the clip itself and a clip holder and this is the older the one with the longer longer rim is the older and the shorter one is the clip itself so this one is going to enter this one like this you can see and we're going to simply clip them together you see what we have so far so I'm going to bring out the dice now and I'm going, I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix this one up close, step by step. So we're going to have this clip holder with the outer layer clipped on the fabric. And we're going to have the clip itself and the clip holder clipped to a fabric, right? So we're going to do it step by step on this white fabric that I'm holding right here. We're going to use this at the practical so you guys can know how this actually work i've gotten several requests on this so if you like the video make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe so here is our cover button presser right this is our cover button machine and here is our dice this is the dice we're going to use if you pay closer attention to these dice we're going to have four different dice here we have this very first one which is our clip hole I already mentioned all of this clip this is our clip o right this is the dice for the clip o and this is the one for the outer layer that's the black one that's for the outer layer and we have this other two right here this is for the clip order this is for the clip order that one with a long hole this one right here in my hand you can see that and the last one is for the clip itself that's the clip so in order to practice this i'm going to put this outer layer inside of the inside of the button o machine you can see and this clip holder itself the clip o is going to simply face the clip o dice i'm going to put it inside of here i'm going to put it inside you can see that i'll put it inside and what i'll be doing next is simple i'm going to cut the fabric i'll be using so all you have to do is just to make a hole on your fabric so you can see here so i'm just going to make a hole on my fabric whatsoever you can use to make a hole if you have a puncher you can simply use a puncher to make a hole on your fabric so this is what you're going to have so in order to do this the place in which you want to be to make the outer layer has to be the one facing the black panel you can see that you can see that so all i'll do now is to simply put my fabric inside of that I'll put my fabric inside make sure the old part is up so the right side of your fabric that wants to be the outer part has to be facing the machine itself and this clip holder the clip old dice you're going to place it inside of it you can see that you're going to place it inside make sure it's actually go inside and we're going to simply press our machine on top of it you can see that and i'm just going to simply press the machine just like that make sure it's actually click very well you can see what we have you can see the back so all you have to do is just to simply open this up and you can see that the clip has actually clipped to the fabric 
you can see that so if you take a closer look at the inside let me focus the camera so that you guys can see the inside inside of it is actually the metal that was long before it's now raw it, like it's now broken inside of the clip so it's going to hold the fabric together so the next thing we are going to do now is to attach the clip itself you can see you can see that so all we're going to do now is to simply attach the clip so all we have to do now is to also make a hole on your fabric make a hole on your fabric on this one also and we're going to take out this um outer layer dice we're going to take the outer layer dice and we're going to simply these two we already used this two now so we're not using these two again we need to use the second one so this what this two is what we're going to be using now so i'm going to i'll place this inside here you can see and the the die um the the this one that is going to be clipped to the clip itself the clip holder sorry the clip holder the one with the long metal is the one that's going to be facing the 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 dice you can see so i will be punch a hole on the fabric and simply put it inside you can see what we have and on the second dice we are going to put our clip inside of it and all we have to do is just to face it on it just like this you can see that you can see what we have and i will be using the machine to simply press it down you can see that after pressing it down when i open it up this is what we are going to be having you can see how smooth that is so all we can do now is to simply clip it to the fabric you see what we have you see that it's as simple as a b c so that's how to simply make this particular design in case you haven't seen this before and you like the video you can start getting into mass production and if you want to see the video in which i make the joggers mass production how to get into joggers mass production there will be a link in the description below and if you want to join our intensive class to learn more about cutting and sewing to get more knowledge about all of this there will be a link in the link in the description below so that you guys can get access to that so far if you like the video and you enjoy it so far smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are yet to subscribe to the channel so in case you haven't seen the result of our joggers if you do this on any trouser this is what you're going to be having whether you do it right here or you do it at the crotch area or whatever you do it this is the result you're going to be having so it's a very very nice press button the ready-made and mature one so um thank you guys for watching and catch you guys on the next one hope you had a wonderful day and i have a video on the screen right now on how to cut a senator outfit and how to cut a jogger so